The first, a first at one of their prisons. A drone trying to deliver cell phones and drugs and contraband to inmates at the prison in Buckeye. This was a Fox 10 exclusive that we first brought you last night at 9 o'clock. And tonight we're learning how prisons may be able to stop drones like this one from posing a danger. Matt Galka is here tonight again with the story. Matt. Yeah, John and Carrie, lots of interest since our story ran last night. But we came away from that one knowing that prisons can really only rely on human line of sight defenses for right now. But a Tempe cybersecurity company has been working on other ways to intercept drones after they've been warning law enforcement that this could become a growing problem. We first told you last night about Arizona's first encounter with a drone trying to deliver contraband, including drugs and cell phones, into Lewis Prison in Buckeye. With technology playing a growing role for criminals, how do you stop it? Wireless sniffer that allows us to fly this over a building and hack into a wireless network, for example, to so that's test. What, that's the, what you were doing. That's what yes. our company does. That's what we do. We do penetration testing for companies. Ryan Narine works with cybersecurity company Bishop Fox out of Tempe. They've been sounding the alarm on the need for drone defenses for a while and said our story magnified that need. You can use something as small as this to drop something into a prison. From two and miles away? Absolutely. For, and they get smaller and smaller and much more powerful as, we, uh, as time goes on. Bishop Fox has been testing different methods on how to stop drones from carrying out nefarious activity. This is a short-range way. A net cannon fired directly at the flying device. It's only good up to 25 feet. Bishop Fox also tested out a defense drone to bring down an attacking one. More effective, but a person would still need to detect the enemy drone. Bottom line, companies and state departments are going to have to invest heavily in technology if they want to be adequately prepared to defend themselves. The only way you can do any sort of non-physical line of sight defense is if you have some sort of super million dollar a uh, wireless system to wirelessly jam the signal and take it out to the sky. The folks at Bishop Fox also said that judging from the pictures of that prison drone, it was probably homemade, assembled piece by piece, and possibly 3D printed, and probably cost less than a thousand bucks. Live in studio, Matt Gelka, Fox 10 News.